Welcome to the Tactical Intelligence Surveillance Reconnaissance Processing System, otherwise known as TIPS. TIPS was developed immediately after the high-profile 2008 Mersk, Alabama hijacking and kidnapping of Captain Richard Phillips. The incident was the first ever hijacking of a U.S. ship. Captain Phillips was kidnapped off the Horn of Africa by Somali pirates and placed in a lifeboat with three of the pirates. Before U.S. Special Forces were sent in to rescue Captain Phillips, decision makers asked to see the full motion video, or FMV, of the lifeboat where Captain Phillips was being held. This surveillance video was captured by a Scan Eagle unmanned aircraft. The Scan Eagle is a fixed wing drone aircraft that provides intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, or ISR data. Stills of the video were provided with the poor quality and limited angles available highlighted the need for a more robust FMV solution. After this incident, our team spent an entire summer aboard a destroyer to create a Band-Aid FMV fix. This involved using the existing ship's limited bandwidth and data stream infrastructure to enable FMV from ship to shore, a first in the Department of Defense. This temporary fix was integrated into future ScanEagle installs but it was very expensive and additional capability needs arose. The team refined the initial solution to meet these needs and created the system known as TIPS. We needed to account for several different land-based and ship-based scenarios where FMV data could be sent in a standardized format no matter what the location and unmanned system were involved. The team outlined the standards for the FMV formats for all drone systems to be compatible with TIPS. Developers continued integrating the system's design and were able to greatly reduce the footprint and cost over time. From initial idea to deployment, TIPS was developed in less than a year. This was another DoD first, providing a fully certified cross-domain solution that enabled unclassified, unmanned data to flow to classified networks. The original Band-Aid fix using existing infrastructure and technology cost roughly $5 million per system. The version of TIPS reduced these costs to $250,000. The latest variant is only 4% of the original $5 million system. TIPS was initially two full rack systems, nearly six feet tall. In 10 years of development, it has been reduced to a five by seven by two inch footprint that provides the same capabilities. We were honored to receive three Nav Air Commanders Awards for delivering capability faster, improving readiness, and providing innovative technologies and business solutions. We have recently received a Department of Defense-wide standardization award for achieving significant improvements in interoperability, cost reduction, quality, reliability, and readiness through standardization. Hi, my name is Jacob Craver. I went to West Virginia University in Morgantown, West Virginia. I am from Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. I received two degrees from WVU in computer engineering, electrical engineering, and a minor in computer science. I chose to pursue a degree in engineering mainly because of my interest in technology and then also my interest in robotics. I enjoy working with my hands and I enjoy being challenged and problem solving. Here at Wolf, I currently assist with the continued development of a certified cross-domain solution and I work with emerging technologies like mixed reality, augmented and virtual reality, and applying those to assist with support of the warfighter. TIPS shows what's possible through rapid engineering processes and having the government provide organic lead systems integration efforts. This has allowed our team to deliver rapid improvements to support the modern warfighter. We hope you enjoyed this tour of the Tactical Intelligence Surveillance Reconnaissance Processing System. I'm Ellen Trevetnik, the NOC AD Strategic Education Office Team Lead. We hope you enjoyed this video. Throughout this virtual tour, you've heard from participants in the Engineer and Scientist Development Program, or ESDP. To learn more about the Engineer and Scientist Development Program, please visit the website shown on the screen, or you're welcome to submit your resume. Thank you.